Hi again. Uh, this question is on um, finding the smallest value of uh, un an unknown number such that the LCM of this unknown number and 6 is 60. Uh, 60. Alright. So here we are going to have... Right, so so the, the in order to find the LCM, the one of the common methods is to find the prime factorization of these numbers. Alright. So the prime factorization of 6 is 2 times 3. For 60, it would be, okay, mm, so we can find out the prime factorization using the repeated division. Um, divided by 2 again, divided by 3, and divided by 5. So, and we end up with 1, right? So we have 2 square times 3 times 5. Alright, now let's rearrange this a bit. So our working space is going to be um, our unknown k and 6 and the LCM is going to be 60 okay so 6 is just 2 times 3 60 will be 2 square times 3 times 5 and LCM usually if we were to do the prime factorization method we are going to look for the highest index okay the numbers with the highest index so in a sense now we're doing the backwards usually when we find um, this would give us the highest index okay from the uh, between the two numbers right so now we're going to find uh, go backwards and find out what is the original number okay so between now for lcm 60 we have 2 square and the power 2 is the highest index of both k and 6 all right however for 6, we have only uh, 2 to the power of 1. So this means that k has to be 2 squared. So that we can take this and it will be considered in the uh, a calculation for LCM. Alright? Now, next. Um, uh, next number for 3. For 3, um, it will come from 6. Okay? Um, and we will leave it like that first. Alright? Now for 5... 6 does not have 5 as its prime factor How, uh, but we need 5 for the LCM so that's why we need the 5 for K alright so this 5 this 5 from the 60 would come from the K alright so here we go so our K will be equals to 2 square times 5 which is equals to 20 so our unknown is 20 alright so back to this question on an on a separate note now uh you might some of you might think that why can't we put three for k all right actually we can even if we put uh three as a prime factor for k right we're still going to get the same lcm because both of these are common factors and we should definitely take both of these they have the same index so we can take both of them however if you have uh, this 3 over here, right? So the k will be 2 squared times 3 times 5. So this is actually equals to 20 times 3, which is 60. And 60 is actually not the smallest value of k. Okay, It might be a possible value of k, but it is not the smallest value of k. So that's why we are going to... We are, we are not going to consider k for... Uh, we're not going to consider 60 for... Uh, or, or the factor of 3 for this K. So that's all for this question. Bye!